Hey guys, Ray from LoveyRV.com back once again and today I'm going to continue my summer uh, RV repair series. I'm having a problem with my uh, ignition switch here on my uh, old Ford truck. It's getting sticky like right now it doesn't want to move. You got to jiggle it to move. Sometimes the key's hard to get into and oftentimes I'll pull the key out and uh, the chime will be going off as if the key is still in there and you can see it kind of will move that shouldn't be moving at all so after a little research I found that the the lock cylinder in there is, is starting to fail um, it's pretty easy to get out on this this model of truck there's a small release pin that you access underneath through the bottom there let me I'll show you the new uh, unit here picked one up locally here at what they call Lord Co Auto Parts, but I've seen them on Amazon too. So you get a brand new cylinder with a pair of fresh keys. Of course, I'm just replacing the cylinder here, I'm still going to have to use my old keys to do the door locks. You can buy a kit that does the door locks and this cylinder, or maybe if I went back through Ford I might be able to get something that matched, but I don't mind having two keys. So you can see here there's a warning on there. It says lock cylinder is shipped ready for installation into steering column. Do not rotate the key clockwise until lock cylinder is installed into steering column. So you don't want to move the key. Let's see, you can see right there, that's the little pin. And you can see it's in it's depressed right now, so it slides in. Once it's in there and you turn the key, it pops, it pops out. So what you have to do, reading the instructions in there, is you want to have this key. You want to try to get it before the, the key fails totally, because you want it in the run position before, so that you can depress that uh, little pin, and then the whole cylinder should, should slide out for replacement. So I've uh, disconnected the batteries, of course, because you don't want the batteries connected while you're doing this in case something goes wrong. Okay, let me get underneath there and see if I can find, there should be an access hole to get, get maybe a screwdriver in there to get at that little pin. Okay, you can see there's one hole in there. These are for screws to hold that cover on. But there's one hole. I shined a flashlight in there and I could see where the pin is. So I just get a little bit of a screwdriver and depress the pin. Gave this a little bit of a wiggle. She should come out. There we go. You can see the pin right there. Well, that's the old one. And the new one should just slide back in. If everything goes right. <laughs> Here's what the, the hole looks like there. So it goes in there and it connects to some mechanism that uh, activates the ignition switch. So maybe I'll just give that a little bit of a clean out, get any dirt out of there before I put the new one in. Okay, so that slide slid in there easy as pie. And when you turn it, what you're doing is you're you're locking that pin. So let's see. Key out now. And now I can just oh yeah. I can quickly click back that way into accessory. That was always a problem. And yeah, cool. And you can see now with the key out, it's not moving at all. Before I was getting a, a quarter turn or so, which was kind of annoying because we'd get out and the stupid chime would be digging and we'd have to jiggle it to stop it. Also, I was afraid if I left this too long, we'd end up stranded somewhere. And if it gets to the point where you can't get it to the run position, it's a lot harder to change. You have to pull the whole steering wheel column apart. Or some of them will break, and then you then basically the key's out, and anybody can come in and start your car. So let's hook up the batteries and see if everything's working right. Okay, give her a shot. Woohoo! Looking good.
Sweet. Back in business. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Let's see. Maybe let's take this old thing apart. Kind of see what went wrong in there. Well, I don't see anything major. Just a lot of signs of wear. You see a lot of the grooves in there are quite worn down. Everything's just worn down to the point where it uh, started to flake out and not work properly. What do you think of that repair, Angelina? Pretty good, eh? No food. Okay. Well, thanks for watching another one of my videos. Um, next uh, video up will be a review on a product that I just got shipped to me called Easy Snap um, Shades for my windows. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'm going to be installing that in the next day or so. We're expecting a bit of rain right now, so I'm just going to hold off on that. Um, if you want to follow along with the repair videos and you haven't been, haven't seen them, I'll leave a, a link in the, the description below and uh, you can check out all my repair summer series here. Till next time, Ray and Angie from LoveYourRV.com. Happy trails folks. Cheers.